I'm going to put a few rocks in now. Um, this is all pretty much cobalt blue and uh, raw umber. Back here I've added a little bit of uh, raw umber and uh, burnt sienna. And then I've added a little bit of uh, more cobalt blue and uh, alizarin crimson for a few strokes here. <coughs> So it's sort of like a you know a partly exposed bedrock ridge here. And I think I'll put a little bit of grass in here. Or grass. Uh, green ground cover. How's that? When I say grass, you tend to think of lawn. And obviously that's not what I'm putting in here. We're gonna pick up some of the colors from the background and Throw them in here. A little brighter, maybe, but oh, maybe that's a bit too bright. You know, go a little darker. Not by much. Just let that drop off the edge of the painting. Okay. All right. Now I'll lay over a couple of highlights here. There, I think that'll do. Okay. Now we'll go back to our rock colors here. Our cobalt blue and raw umber. And warm it up with a little bit of yellow ochre. And raise the value with a little bit of white. These rocks catching a little bit of light as well. well that might be a bit intense. Come on. Seems like I struggle to get it bright enough and then suddenly it's too bright. Excuse me. Oh, 
Okay. Only a few strokes, but you know, if they're placed in the right area, it's going to work. Yes, I better... Lights from the right hand side. So I think I'm going to have... I'm going to have to tone this down and keep it fairly dark under the hull. And heading off into this direction. Toned down to some degree anyway. So I jumped ahead on you a little bit. Um, I wanted to uh, get ahead, go ahead with this without thinking about the camera because it would require me to move my head over here to do all of this to avoid glare. So probably not the best idea. <laughs> anyway, so what I have under here is ultramarine blue, a bit of, a bit of yellow ochre, you know, and a bit of burnt sienna slowly getting a little darker than this area a bit of light but no real direct sunlight on it and then and then against the water I liked this idea of keeping it very dark you know quite dramatic so that's just ultramarine blue burnt sienna oh the oh the smallest touch of white under the boat is just uh, a lizard crimson ultramarine blue and raw umber give it a few horizontal strokes just to give it the impression of, of a flat bottom and then moving over to here these are a few shots of uh, ultramarine blue and mostly raw umber again just sort of an indication of what's in there showing you know the shape of the boat side but muted muted um, now I, all I really have to do is is lay in this you know this this tag or this this yeah uh, registration number I suppose is what it would have been uh, in here and and revisiting this area as I think I talked about yesterday it got too smeary but there was a bit of raw umber in it so the paint will have set enough by now that I can go in and lay my final strokes in. And then after that, it really will only need a signature. I'm going to kind of have my heart set on a, making this little this little tag on the boat using some cad yellow pale mixed with some burnt sienna. I might be doing a disservice. Might be going too high in value as we get away from the sunshine here, but uh, maybe not. We'll see. Getting away from the sunshine, meaning you know the the, the highest light on the gunnel. <laughs> but I am going to be raising the light of the value on the gunnel here, so that may be lower coat. We'll see. What's the fun of it if you don't take a chance, eh? Mix in a little more burnt sienna. Towards the top of it just to kill the color a little bit. Yeah, you know, I probably shouldn't fuss with it too much. But I am going to just lay in that. Okay, and that. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that'll do. Okay, back to our gunnel. Well, here's a bit of a different angle. But I have to bring my head around to do this, so I thought I would just try to...
move the camera out of the way for the moment and see. Yeah, those colors are a bit toned down now. That's uh, that's just better. Now we're getting into a bit of light. Test. Oh, more yellow ochre. More yellow ochre. <laughs> I'm just darker than I thought I was here. falling into that trap of too much small detail which is great on some paintings but not this one no I shouldn't say I should should I guess more accurately say which is great for a technique that some people use but I don't no, you know I think I'm gonna leave it at that I will take I will take you off the uh, tripod and give you the zoom thing and the scan thing. Well, there's our little painting. I'll zoom in on the boat. You can see some of the brushwork. as per usual okay so I'm pretty happy with that really yeah dragged up on shore You know, I you know I call that a number plate or a registration plate or whatever, but uh, I'm not going to write I'm not going to paint letters in a, in a thing like that. It's it's an eight by ten inch painting, so <laughs> it, you know it would be silly to become too detailed. Anyway, I like it. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so we will move on to something else now. Hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for coming along. Any questions and comments, you are more than welcome to uh, leave them in the comments. And uh, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks. Bye-bye.